welcome guys first episode of progress um, I basically decided to buy out 1000 natures before starting the recording the first episode mainly just for one reason is more glories more glories for runecrafting the better I'm sitting at 14 glories and given that I'm 74 combat me getting PK'd is very uh, likely so I may as well hunt for the dragon imps from for more glories and also a chance at the death tiara. So then I'll be able to do morning and part two straight away, as well as bolstering my coin coin pile. So yeah, we'll hopefully get some dragon imps in the 320 casts I have right here. And there it is, boys. The first. First dragon impling of the of the day. Let's see what we get. Of course, never lucky. Cannot believe my luck, boys. Two dragon imps. Already, okay, maybe I'm a bit lucky. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> Third dragon, boys. I guess this is a bit ridiculous. And if I get Dragonstone tips again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But there was three mag magpie implings on this world, and one stuck in the center as well. That's crazy. Let's see what we get. You have got to be fu- <sighs> Okay, okay. Feel bad sneaking this dragon in, but... Oh well. I bot snaked mine. Just say sorry to him. But, uh... The snake eat snake world. That's the correct quote. See if I get. S I'll take that. I'll take that. Not close, but I'll take it. I think I'm gonna call it there actually. And I'll do for one trip. I've already lost a dragon imp to a bot. Three, two or three ninjas have been sneaked right in front of me like I sneaked that dragon imp. On top of the. Bolts, bolt tips. Nah, I think we'll call it for today. My luck's just not good enough. Well, the first round of dragon imp hunting. Somehow we managed to find four, which is crazy. But given three out of the four were, oh, sorry, five actually. But given that three out of the four that was caught. Yeah, not bad cash. Send us the keys, plenty of uh, herbs, a nice snapdragon, another tooth half. It's pretty good. And I'm gonna assume, are they 90? 73. Hmm. Need to find a way to get my hands on rune bolts. Because I believe I have quite a few of those. 16, 20. They eight each, 160k. Not bad. Pretty good loot for 100. Uh, 80 cat, 80 snares. Uh, 80 natures. Pretty good. See what happens when we return. Here's Dragon Name number 5. Yeah, let's just ignore that fail. It's pretty bad. Hopefully that won't get remembered. But I think this is uncontested. I don't think there's anyone else on this uh, world. Let's see what we get. Nice. Here we go. Yes, boys. Dragon bones. That's what we like to see. Easy prayer experience. Next dragon imp coming. 
Nice boys, two hops and a dragon imp. No. Oh, it's useful, but so bad for right now. Ah, well. Better luck next time. Trip number two. Pretty good spoils. Magpies are insane today. So many dragon daggers and rune items. Good chunk of money. We did manage to find two dragon imps. Unfortunately. Can't craft those yet even though I need glories. To speed up the rune crafting. But can't complain. That's three glories. For when I've finished rune crafting my nats for 77 magic. It's all good. More onyx tips. Pretty good spoils. Let's go for trip number three. Here's a question for you guys. What do you prefer? Are you the people who camp worlds? Or do you hop? So I find when you camp worlds, you just waste so many uh, resources on natures. It's, it's almost a complete waste. While every time I hop, I always seem to always run into at least one magpie per world, minimum. Which, as you can see, it's pretty good. Good alcohols. Majority of that was uh, magpie and rune drops. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys do. Another dragon to the list. Hopefully, we get something nice. Yes, that's what we like to see. Let's continue the. Cannot believe it. Four worlds, another dragon imp. Absolutely crazy. Guess I'm getting very lucky with the dragons. Nice, nice. How many dragon imps is that now? Eight? Still no glories? Well, they are rare, so I guess I can't complain anymore. But yeah, it's a pretty good drop. Dragon number three of the day. Uncontested, hopefully. Although, knowing my timing, it's just going to probably fly the other way and I'm not going to be able to catch it. Wow, such a fail. <laughs> That was so bad. Oh my god. This is worse. Oh my god. That was so bad. That got stolen. Let's see what we get. Okay. Almost not worth it. Uh, trip number three done. Lasted there forever. Since the keys, I believe it was two dragons. Maybe three, can't remember. 284k, tons of alcohols, which is absolutely awesome. And a few other bits and bobs. Let's hopefully find some more uh, dragon imps. Didn't get my recorder on in time. Dragon number nine, I believe. Let's see what we get. Okay, not bad. Let's go. Number 10. Dragon number 10. Hopefully, this one's going to be uncontested. It doesn't look as there's anyone around. Hopefully, there's something good inside this one. Maybe not. Oh my god, another dragon? This is crazy. And uncontested as well. Number 11, I believe. I think this is 5 worlds for this one. Hopefully we'll get something good from this one. Assuming I catch it, there we go. Good chunk of money. Not bad. That's trip number four done. Pretty incredible uh, run once again. Although not so fortunate with the dragon imps. I 
a good chunk of money. Dragon hides. Good few sellables. I might start selling those to the Kramda store. Good source of uh, herbs. Of course, more dragon stones for glories. After I'm done with my room crafting, but still pretty good. Tons of snap dragons. 40 more snares to go. Hopefully we'll get one last dragon in. Here's a little clip from Boaty's live stream which he's allowed me to use since I failed to record the actual catching of the dragon imp. So enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, the war is on. Dragon Impling World 354 and it's in the north western corner. I wish you all the best of luck. I'm going to follow it for you all as well. I want to see who gets it. Come on, someone's going to get it. Who's it going to be? Who's it gonna be? Yeah, someone's he's in a really good spawn. He get the entangle now, he's got it, it's his, and he misses the entangle. He's miles in the lead though. I think he savaged it. Scathing moon on oh, lucky Vernix. Can he get it though? Can he get it? It's still there. And he slayed it. See you later, mate. See you later. Everyone failed. And here's the reward from the dragon imp from Booty Stream. Summer Pies, pretty decent. Allows me to go to uh, RD Agility course five levels earlier. It's the best place for experience and the best place for marks. So it's pretty good. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, Dragon Ball tips. For those of you curious of my 1000 natures, this is what loot you can get roughly. Maybe some inaccuracy somewhere, but generally it's pretty uh, accurate from the uh, recordings I made, so we'll see how much we, we made. 5.5 <laughs> million, okay. Where's the majority of that? I'm going to assume it's going to be 700k. For those of you curious, this means nothing to me as an Iron Man, but I know a lot of people imp hunt, so this is roughly what you can get for a thousand uh, natures. Again, this is all dependent on luck, remember? So, best of luck with your imp hunting. And there we go. Last inventory for today. Just show you right now, 5,000 Yulongs cut the halfway point before I can start runecrafting. For the nature's to out my 5k maple longs and 5k Yulongs for about 5 mil, it's quite nice. Although I still have 12,000 more logs to go for 85 fletching, but it's a good start. Not looking forward to that grind. Uh, we also managed to get 70 to 74, halfway to 75 on that. Hopefully get maybe 77 or 78 fletching from this. Once they're all strong. It's going to be so nice to have money again. Decided to finish the day with one of the worst grinds. My rivaling uh, hunter, and that's the glassmate grind. For unpowered orbs into battle staffs. Granted this is quite possibly oh nice. It's one of the sites you're gonna be looking for when you're doing this grind. But yeah it's easily one of the best methods to train crafting. Great experience, great money. I believe it's just over two mil profit per uh, one thousand battle staffs. It's just, just gonna be insane set money and uh, money set for pretty much the career as an Iron Man, unless I blow it all on supplies for DKs or something like Boaty, which I really hope doesn't happen. But yeah, if you do plan to go down this route, it's, I would recommend doing this as soon as possible, just because of the grind. The amount of people who just completely buy at this place, for example, at peak times. It's going to be one simple moon when you ever see something above five. So when you do do this grind, just 
start as soon as possible because it is one hell of a grind it's so slow because again the store needs was 10 at max nice a good milestone for crafting 20,400 uh, soda ash and seaweed I believe I only needed around 1950 so I bought slightly more than I need for my 20,000 um, orbs uh, if you didn't know super glass make for the lunar spell turns 13 buckets of sand soda ash or seaweed into between 14 and 21 uh, molten glass so what that means is I need a lot less which is absolutely fantastic in regards to time spent grinding so I've cal calculated based on one of my friends who did molten glass he averaged about 1.3 molten per bucket of sand and soda ash so I, I only needed about 19,500 for all my orbs if I get more than 1.3, great. If not, fair enough. Easily more than more than I need. The only issue is now is grinding out the sand. I need <laughs> 9,700 basically. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Grinding out the sand is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. I need to find an alternative way of also getting sand apart from but there's only 83 a day a day I believe but good that's never have to buy those two again it's just sand so maybe just spend an hour or two just an hour a day hunting sand I believe and that should be more than enough maybe a week or so of grinding and then I can bash at my crafting make my orbs should be fun because uh, 80 I'll be so close to 80 crafting and I'll never have to worry about dragging them so glories ever again and let's continue with the grind logged into the main and there was a dragon imp sitting in Audi Zoo wishing I've had my recorder going but it's a pretty good elk nice catch Nice cheeky milestone here, level 75. Get to make rune arrows. We could also boost to make our uh, magic shovel if we wish. I'm not too sure if I'll boost just yet. Still got 4,400 to go. But yeah, can't wait for that magic shovel. And there we have it 5k yulongs, 5k maples. 5 mil waiting to be out because it's time to get alking there's a question for you guys would it be better to have it more of like a progress series where I would upload videos when I have say like 50 minutes worth of progress content per se rather than doing maybe like a scheduled weekly upload because the videos can be monstrous along the progress I can get in a week is it going to exceed 50 minutes at this current stage? Maybe if I'm in the 90s, a weekly episode would suffice, but currently now I think I will just upload 50 minutes to 20 minutes worth of content because that seems ideal to me. I guess there's any trial and error, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, progress uh, video. Next one should be out in four or five days, maybe. See you then.